Hi, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout, where we're checking out what is new at Rod's Hot Rods on Faithful Avenue. You know, I actually had people like reaching out to me. Where's the video? I know. Where's the video? Sorry, it is Friday. Usually we're here on Wednesdays. That's two weeks in a row. First week was your fault. Second week was your fault. My fault. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> it was some of the guys' faults. <laughs> we couldn't get stuff here right away, right? Well, yeah, there's a combination. Some pretty, there's some pretty big loops you guys do where we yeah. cars were coming from, Alberta and stuff like that. And got some bad road conditions in yeah. Calgary. And, and anyway. they, got, they got to get here. And they're here. We're here. So we got lots of cool stuff to look at, which is what? How many How many, how many today? Uh, new ones we yeah. have, well, 8.5 because we got eight new ones. Yep. And we have half of one that we started last week, but mm -hmm. we didn't finish it. So it's eight and a half. We got some more details on that. Yeah. Eight exactly. and a half. And it's not a Volkswagen. It's not a Volkswagen. The bug sold. The bug's gone. Yeah. Beetle's where's, gone. Where's the dune buggy? It's on the far corner. Okay. The beetle's already gone. Yep. I'm not even surprised. That was I a pretty know. cool beetle. If you like tickets, beetles, no. if you're into beetles, it was a pretty cool beetle. Oh, I like beetles. Yeah. What do we got coming up next week? How many? We'll talk well, about not, later, but. Not a, just a couple, nothing. I'm trying to lay low, because as you know, I'm uh, leaving for Ireland on Monday. So my wife and I are going to Ireland for two weeks. We're going to visit our daughter. We haven't seen for almost three years. Wow. So uh, it'll be a kind of exciting trip. Yeah. So you're gonna be there for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, sir. In Ireland, right? I think I'm gonna book two days off after <laughs> that. Your, <laughs> maybe you should book yourself in a hospital. Just yeah, pre-plan. <laughs> Oxygen. <yeah. laughs> okay, let's get going with some stuff. So that means Rod is gonna be away coming up pretty soon. So we're gonna have some guests. We some have some guest hosts. Guest hosts. Yeah. Yes, and we'll so we'll, we'll talk to them. We'll stumble them upon them a little bit here. Uh, where should we go first? That way. Oh, I want to look at this one. Oh yeah, let's go over here. I got a new toy. Literally a toy. Not, not, not like the rest of the stuff isn't toys, but look at this. Well, not like we have nothing else to do during the day, but why not Pac-Man? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Where did you find that? Uh, a guy that actually works for us at the pizza store. He had it. That's and, cool. Uh, I don't know. That was kind of neat. High score. Oh, I haven't even tried it yet, so. Yeah, you'll have to work on that. My, my uh, three-digit thing there is BOSS, B-O-S. B-O-S? That makes sense. We can figure out who that is. Yeah. Okay, are we going to start in the far end? Where are we going to go? Um, let's go right here. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. do that. I know this, this, this hurts your heart, I know, and I get it. As you know, we have three retractables here, okay? Um, the far one sold. The white one, the 59 sold. Let's That's going to Ontario. Zoom in a little bit there. Not the white top, but, well, it's got a white top as it's well. It's all white, but, yeah. But it's all white with a red interior back there. So that one's sold. Yeah. So this red and white one, we're doing a little change up on it. We're not going to ruin the car for all the purists, but we are going to do some stuff. We're going to resto mod in a way, okay. a look. We're going to do the big wheels, 20 inch wheels. We're going to do the lower spindles, lower the whole car down. Probably about, when we're done, I'm going to guess about four and a half inches. Oh, wow. And uh, we're going to keep the powertrain that's like the same. Yep. There's already four wheel disc brakes on here. So it's already we had a little bit of modification because, we of course, it would have been drums. We were test or test uh, fitting some wheels today, and it looks cool because you, you can see like the discs on, on front and back. Uh, we got a new steering column, a nice chrome tilt steering column going in with a nice modern wheel. So you won't feel like a bus going down the road with a big wheel. <laughs> that's what's back that's here. That's the steering yeah. column there. So we're going to keep the integrity of the car. It'll look identical to what it is. It'll have the, 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 the classic lines, and we're not going to change that. Cool. I suppose, too. These parts aren't going away, right? Like the, oh, no, the original it, steering column and... If somebody wants this one to be all factory original, I'll take the parts off and I'll put it on the, on the blue one. Right. So, I, but I think this may attract a different age group that, it, that will be attracted to the car. Yep. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try. Cool. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be either. great. It's an awesome car. Okay, awesome you're going to follow me? Yep. Which way are we going? Walk this way. That's Aerosmith, by the way. I know that. And run DMC. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, it's a duet. <laughs> uh, well, let's start with this. It's already in the camera view, so let's start right here. This is the one that uh, we were going to do last week, but we didn't have time. So, 87 GTA. That's awesome. Man. This only got 55,000 original kilometers on this car. 55,000. That's original paint, it's you've, original car. You know, you've come across a lot of these that are in very original shape. We've been very lucky. We had that, that maroon one. Yes. But it didn't have T-tops. Oh yeah. So, okay, it's a very handsome car. Let's, let's look in here. Very original. 
I said, ever. Oh man, right on. Hard to find these in, in this kind of like original shape. Is it ever? Oh, and digital dash in this one. That's cool. Performance sound. So you got the, you got the equalizer in there, auto reverse tape. And as you're saying, well, no, it wasn't you. It was actually Darby saying this. These wheels are super rare and super hard to find because they're they're different from, from front to back. It's, no. It's a diff yeah. It's a different size. Well, different. Uh, the offset looks different. The offset or something's. Uh, we'll ask Darby when we go to, when we go uh, talk to him a little bit here. But nice. Look at how nice that door closes too. Well, I think this is this open. No, Maybe. I don't think so. Nope. Don't ask me to open that, I don't know. Don't ask to open it. But look at that, the T-top bags are yeah. still in there. Original. Ooh, this has been really well taken care of. The Too bad that we didn't actually have this on last week's video, where people would have had an opportunity to actually buy it. Because, well, it's too late now. It's sold anyways. It's getting picked up tomorrow. Did you see this other sticker over here? Look at this. GM Canada. Official sponsor of yeah. Calgary 1988 Winter Olympics. Yeah. We had that same sticker on our 87 uh, Monte Carlo SS, the white one. With right. the, yeah, they had the same sticker. And this is a 87. Seven. Yeah. For so the 88. Just to rub it in, it's just as old as I am. Come on. Right here. 88, 87? Circa 1987. Oh, cool. Awesome. That's, that's, Really cool. You don't want to know what I was doing in 1987. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about it, can no. we? <laughs> yeah. Let's go over here. What do we got here? We just got this back. We've had this for a little bit. Um, so obviously it's not complete. Well, no, it's, we just got it. It's just got back from the body shop. So just fresh paint and uh, we'll start putting it back together. This wow. car was actually kind of done when we got it but there was a fire in a Quonset. Oh, that's this car. This one here, and they pulled the car out, so there's no fire damage to the car at all, but they weren't that careful when they pulled it out, so there's a damage on both quarters, a little bit of damage on the roof, the front fender. That's, so okay, yes. We fixed everything, and body work's all done, Fred, and rather than doing, spotting in the paint, we just painted the whole car. It was just almost easier yeah, to do that. Yeah, fix the problems, and then paint the whole car, so, so it all looks all great. brand new paint now. Yeah. This, so, uh, this is that nasty big block in here. It sounds incredible. Yeah, right we're missing obviously, you know, trim and some stuff like that. Well, well, door lots handles. Of stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, just, it's gotta we just go got back it back like, like two hours ago. Awesome. Yeah, there was like mega damage on the, not mega, but you know. There was like you know, noticeable damage. Yeah. yeah, on the back quarters and stuff. And, and look yeah. how nice it looks now. Awesome. Remember that this had that lift off hood too, like a fiberglass lift off. Right, so what are we doing up here now? So now it's, now it's an actual steel hood. Awesome. With the actual hinges, right? So it's got the proper hinges, the latch, everything, like just like a regular yep. car now. Like a regular Whereas car. Whereas before it was like a race lift off hood, eh? It was just, it wasn't wow. good. Wow, that's kind of a pain in the butt. You need two people to just take it off. Oh yeah. So this is more normal. We got to clean it up though, but nice car. It sounds really good. Yeah. Work in progress and yep. Camaros never last long here. So this will be probably finished and sold by the time I get back from my holidays. So. <laughs> 68. So that's what the year. Yeah. That's awesome. Interior's not done. I won't even bother showing you right now. It's not, it's still cut in half in pieces, yeah. but so we're that's kind of the, a, it's a, the update video. We're going to get a chance, you know, sometime to see this when it's finished too. Well, maybe awesome. next week will be even more stuff done. Yeah, right? that's right. There we go. Cool. Okay. Well, which uh, way we go? We got a whole pile to see. The other side. Should we stop by and see our guest host yeah, on the okay, way? Let's do that. We can ask about the GTA wheels too. Okay, so here's our guest host for next week. Next week's victims, right here. <laughs> I'm sure I won't be able to say anything with Alex around here. <laughs> Alex is our uh, is our storyteller. I was, you were here for like half an hour. I wanted to come talk to you, but he was on the fourth story, and I was still trying to get some. Anyway, <laughs> our, vis our videos are good. like our videos are usually like 20 minutes long, and next week when Alex is on, it's going to be like. 40 minutes or something it's like the that. Extra, so. It's the extra large yeah, version. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> really, but really good story, so. Just, yeah. just for that, I'm being some teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the one question we have to ask? The GTA, uh, those wheels. Remember you were saying something about the wheels of the GTA. They're different from, from front to back, or the, the offset. offset different from the front to back. Okay, yeah. so you, you can't put the back wheels on the front and vice right. versa. Okay, so different offset. Yeah. That's what makes them more rare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was that all GTAs like that, or just yeah. really? Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but you couldn't put four, you had to get four fronts to put them on, like an El Camino or something. Okay, yeah. okay. Because the backs wouldn't fit because of the offset. 
Yeah. There you go. Crazy. Even I learned something today. Yeah. We're going to keep going looking at cars, but we'll be seeing more of these guys in the upcoming weeks and we, uh, when Rod's away. And I'll be watching the video from uh, Ireland or Scotland. So. Well, uh, it'll be entertaining. We better hide the for sale signs then. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean he can stop us with what we want to do, though. Yeah, so. I know. Have fun. All right. See you guys in a bit. Where do you want to go? Well, we're right here. Okay. Like, oh, I'm excited about this. We just grabbed this in yesterday, too. Uh, 72 Buick Skylark. GS. GS. Is it a GS350 or a GS400? 350. 350, okay. So it's not the super mean animal, but it's still an awesome car. It's, uh, the yellow actually suits it pretty good. Look at that. The gentleman that had this car, apparently from our driver that picked it up, well, Gary picked this one up. He said that he had the complete decal package on this car and he took it off. What? Yeah, he liked really? it better with it off. So now we're looking at putting the decal package back on. Okay. I think it would look handsome with the decal package. You know what? It is a, a gentleman's, this is a gentleman's muscle car is yeah. how these were branded and sold. And you know, so it really, it shares the body with what, what you're standing in front yeah. of right next to it, it right? They're it's both the, the same body. It's the same car underneath, you know? Yeah. But this one was done up, I mean, for example, look at the aero um, rear view mirrors we've got, and there's two of them, they're a pair. You know, this guy's got the more traditional chrome stuff. This yeah. was a, and the intake through the hood, yeah. super sweet. This is all, all, uh, all intact still. I never even tried this one to see if I can get it. I'm gonna give you a hand, it's pretty heavy. Oh, there we go. go. You're the Buick guy. Exactly. This brakes, because we got the bigger brake booster up there. Oh. Look at that, air conditioning in this unit. Factory AC. Factory AC, a old Frigidaire in there. Power steering, of course. Go fast chrome. Yeah, it looks, uh, it's funny, it's a 350, and I got a 430, but everything is so similar, you know? Even the jug that holds the, the overflow, I, I think that's the same one that's in my car, honestly. They would use the same stuff. Yeah, right? a lot of the same stuff, right? This one's a little more compact. I got a little bit of a bigger engine and area, but awesome. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Oh, somebody's put electronic ignition to it, I see. Yeah, which is a good upgrade. Totally. In here, this is spectacular. Now, the white interior looks really good. It with, does. Uh, with and there's yellow. And it's buckets and a console. I'm gonna slip in here real quick. We got a console shift. But what I think is so awesome that you never get in Buicks very often is we've got full gauge package. Factory and that tack. is factory tack and even temperature, fuel, and an oil pressure gauge. So not the idiot lights. Because almost all the Buicks had idiot lights. Yep. That, that was kind of that thing that they did with the luxury cars. Yep. And you could, the performance stuff you could get, you know. But it's funny, this, uh, this, I can't wait to get back in my car this year because even these heater controls, identical to ones in my car. Yeah. You know, like it shares a lot of parts and pieces, which is awesome. That's super cool. And the interior of this is in beautiful shape. Like just The color combination awesome. is really good. Yeah, the yellow and the white is great. Wheels are a bit different. They look factory, but they're, uh, they're not. 17 inch. Yeah, they're, but look at, they got the, the center caps yeah. going in them. So they did it properly, but they're a little bit bigger wheel, but they, they suit the car. And, they, and they're, they're the right style, you know, like, the, like I don't know, personally. The Magnums, yeah. With yeah, the, they're, they look really good. Spoiler on the back. Very nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Let's go this way. Yeah, okay. Well, we start with this one, or, or do you want to start at the end? You lead the way. Let's start at the end and work our way back. Okay. I'm not going to give away too many secrets, so we're going to look over here. Or oh, we're going to go way over there? <laughs> Whatever you That's, want, This Rod. is the .5 one, okay. <laughs> so we started looking at this one, the 78 Camaro. Yep. We started looking at this last time. Remember they were you know, pulling it off, it was really loud. It was. Um, this is a really nice car. We had a, a good chance to have a look at this car. And... Uh, I still think that we should take the roll cage out of it and make it more stock interior, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which wouldn't take a whole lot, but it nope. would really be nice. Um, I talked to the former gentleman that owned this car out of Victoria, and he gave me all the information on it. It's pretty cool. Like all the suspension work he did. Um, and he was the one that, that took some pictures and verified that this pulls the wheels all day long. Wow. 
Let's, uh, hood's, hood's halfway open. You want to crack it open for us? Uh oh. Oh, that was easy. Look at that. Yeah, that's uh, that looks nasty. This building's a bit of a cleanup underneath the hood. You guys were moving cars around today, and this was next to be washed. But yep, it has a dark 406 block. Uh, it's Dyno 620. It's there was a wet nitro system on it. It's, oh really? There was. It's not hooked up now. That's what this extra little gas tank is. Oh yeah, so okay. You would, you would put your race fuel in there. Yep. Then, then it's a wet system for uh, nitrous. Wow, wild. So when I say 620 horse, that's natural. Not, that's not with the nitrous. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's got QA1s on it, uh, Caltrax. It's, um, the guy drove it around, uh, Victoria, as is just a driver. So it's that's probably the one mile per gallon. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty, pretty mean driver, but that's awesome. Fantastic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to driving that one. I probably won't have it. Who am I kidding? But <laughs> um, okay, right next one. This is a different one. This is a kind of a cool. You got to kind of take some time to look at this if you come to the shop, and uh, it's not your typical hot rod. No, it's a little different. It's what little, we. But but it's awesome. We got a 34 Plymouth, and uh, it's a four door. Obviously, the back doors are suicide, and. <laughs> there's a there's a Hemi in it, so not only does it it's a cool car, but it, look at the power plant on this thing. Like, <laughs> look at the size of that engine. Like, there's a reason why there's no hood sides on here. Like, <laughs> yeah, because no yeah, it's not going to fit. Ooh, that's nasty exhaust too. Hey, wow. I yes. bet you this bark's pretty good. It sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. big Hemi valve covers. So you can tell right away in the. That's a yeah. humongous engine. That's a 354 Hemi. Gosh. Yeah, they're, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty wicked. The color in the video is probably going to show more silver, but it, it has a, a, like a minty green almost yeah. hue to it. Yeah, it does. It's, it's silvery, but it's sort of a between green and between sage. Sage. It's like light, light silver sage. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. So there's four suicides. suicides. So there's four, four suicides. suicides. They're both Isn't suicides. That cool? Well, that's wild. There's four buckets. There's four suicides. Oh, man. It's automatic. It's got a 700R. Automatic. Oh, I like the wheel. Look at what they did with the wheel. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Disc brakes. I think it must, I think that wheel must tw tilt or something. I think it, it must, no, must it's no? a quick, uh, quick release. Quick release, okay. Oh That's, man, uh, is that ever is that ever cool? It's got a lot of cool little touches to this one. Is this uh okay, maybe curiosity killed the cat, but well just switches, I think. Yeah, that's for your for your uh, electronic one, wipers. Electronic wipers. One so switch of course, for each. This this car came out of BC, so they have a pretty uh, strong um, safety program there. Yeah, it's very strict. So yeah. you know everything has been gone through on their safety so yeah that's wild the doors are really cool like isn't that neat is it ever four-door hot rod with four <laughs> buckets look at the curtains back there too hey like going to 8th street you got like this would be a cool there's one just, to, there's never nobody ever does a four-door hot rod i know that's why i thought it was kind of cool you know wow super cool and it's sort of neat from the side profile too Let's see if i can back up here because you know the fenders have been Eliminated, yep. you know, right? Uh, they done some neat stuff with the little so lights a, in the back. So it's like a uh, high boy, I guess is what you Yeah, call it. exactly. But Factory gas tank in the back here. Oh yeah, right down here. So the suspension on this, like the chassis and suspension is really cool. I got lots of pictures online. You can go have a look at it. It's very detailed. Uh, coilovers on the back, adjustable four bar, front and back four bars. It's really unique because Nine it's... Nine inch in the back, it's disc brakes. Yeah. It's, um, it's just something that nobody really ever does. And it's very stylish, you know? Again, this is really tastefully done. And the colors, the red, the red wheels with the color of the paint, and they tied it in with the red block and the red wires. A little bit of red pinstriping would have set it off. Yeah. If Too Tall's watching, again. If Too Tall's watching... Uh, well, you know, I think, I think you're going to keep Too Tall in business for like... I got 50 few, years, hey? Uh, like, he'll never get to retire because it's always going to be the next thing that rolls in like this that just needs a little now bit Now he's of getting married, too. So, now we got to book him like a year in advance probably now. 
But you know what? The lady he's marrying is awesome. Oh, I know. And she's an artist too. So, you know, <laughs> they'll be artists together. I've been in the uh, marriage city a couple of times, so I know. <laughs> I know that they'll do really well, but <laughs> yeah, Joanne's awesome. It might take longer to get, the, to get some scraping done. No. Well, they got things to do, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, no more. No more. Um, okay, let's go to this. This is kind of cool. This is oh. a neat story. 89 Suburban. Of course, they never made a Dooley Suburban. They did. We all know that. So, uh, this is a custom made uh, Dooley Suburban. And from the stories we got and the paperwork, etc., this was built by Moon Eyes in California. Like, and that's why there's a sticker here. And there's another one on the back window, like the. But, oh yeah, right here. So apparently, they this was one of their trucks they used to to tow the trailer around, and and you have room for all the guys or the girls or whatever to go to shows or sell their merch and all that stuff, right? Yep. So I'm I'm looking for some photographs of this. Uh, at the Moon Eye shop, to, it'd be kind of cool. This is neat here. Yeah, how this is really this wild. Look at, look at how they, we did that. They did this. It rotates in yeah. using the original hardware, but it's got a cover that fills in the yeah. the dually spot. Isn't that so slick? It's really low, so the frame's been C-notched. This yeah, is, this was built to tow though. There's a there's a hitch right behind where they played it. Oh yeah, okay. Right. Well, they got a, so it's a a true hidden hitch. So they would, this is a like a hauler, this is built to haul. Yeah. So it would be neat to haul your race car or whatever. Big block. It's, yeah. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. I like it. It's pretty awesome. I, I, my grandparents had a Suburban when I was a kid, a three quarter ton gas, four by four, four speed manual Suburban, and but had this exact same interior as this. This is the deluxe interior with your crushed velour gray and buckets and a console and an overhead console. And there's, if you look back there in the top, you can see overhead heater air conditioner as well. The accessory one in the back. It was just like this truck, at least, you know, on the inside. Yeah. So opening the door in this is kind of like walking back into my childhood. Walking back in yeah. time. Yeah, we towed a big 33 foot Dutchman trailer with it. And uh, yeah, of course ours was like uh, up a little bit up here, you know, yeah. being a four by four and a three quarter ton. But uh, this is wickedly wild. Yeah, this is kind of a yeah, look at how like where do you even like do they make this? What did they do? Where well, do you take get a that? Factory fender, then they would just modify it to fit, right? I guess off of the just the dually, the dually yeah, regular square body dually. Great, yeah. Right. yeah, but awesome job, like super cool truck. We're gonna go from one square body to the next, I think. Sure. Right here. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Oh, look at this. This one uh, look just came at in. Yes. I unloaded it today. This is how tall ours was yeah. for reference. Just about, anyways. Um, but wow. The paint body is gorgeous on this truck. Is it ever? And uh, long box. It's 350 small block, automatic. Now, there's a couple things in here. We've got some, some stuff over there because we got. What, new seat? Well, like all these square bodies, like the driver's part of the seat always gets somewhere. Yeah, right here. So in the bag, there's a brand new seat skin yep. that we'll be installing. There's a couple of cracks in the dash, which is normal. And um, I got in luck and Brian at RPM happened to get the exact color dash we needed in stock today. So wow. we snagged that up. So this will have a brand new dash. Yep. Other than that, Oh, we got these little chrome buttons coming. Yep, that cover up your, yep. So when we get that done, the tear's gonna be pretty much mint. I guess. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. In here. Box line. Box line. Just a little wet from getting cleaned up because it just, just came in. Wheels and tires are brand, brand new. A buddy of mine, Farley in Edmonton, I got him to do the wheels and tires for me. Yeah, this is awesome. I That's like kind it. of a unique bumper aftermarket thing, yeah. right? With, with the backup lights. With the backup lights added into them. Or for loading little, lights, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, whatever you want to call them. That's yeah. that's pretty neat. Big just hitch on there. Handsome, handsome truck. Like, And yeah, I mean this the is... The color combo is just bang on. And between the hitch and the spray and box liner, this is kind of one of those cool trucks that can go to a car show, but can also go do some work. You can haul the engine and the 
back of your truck to right. sell the swap meets when you go to the car. Exactly. Truck. You know, or put the car tra the ha car hauler behind yeah. it mm -hmm. or whatever, right? And being a long box, it's huge. So, I mean, you you wouldn't go wreck tra wreck and trash the thing, but it, you could actually use it as a bit of a truck, yeah. you know? And the, it's not too tall, it's not too lifted. The nope. tires fit the the oh, wheel well totally. good. Like it's totally. just, it's the, the perfect size. The, yeah. The the ratio of tire wheel size is just awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, sweet truck. Very, very happy with this one. And what a what a good color combination. Like they black actually, and red. Underneath the hood looks actually really good too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed this. <laughs> yeah. The Punisher. The Punisher. I gotta like reach up just to see in here. But oh pretty holy tidy. smoke. So this is this is a crate engine then. No? I you know what? I haven't even gone that, that looks, far. That looks newer. Well, it's a definitely Vortec heads. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely newer. Yeah, it looks pretty new. I think that looks pretty new. Like, that doesn't look like the block that would have been in here. No. But huh. it looks like they've got everything, like all the cruise control stuff is still in here. The guys said this thing runs amazing. And is the AC stuff all in here too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Holy smoke. Air conditioning. Yeah, it belts hook up to the AC pump, everything. Compressor. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. It looks like it's all pretty new in there. Yep. That, I was pretty surprised. And some. She's ready to go. Oh, we got one more. We do. Okay. This last one that we're going to uh, have a look at. I, I think this is going to be one of the coolest builds that we're going to do. Or sell, or whatever. Okay. Let's get to it. 1970 Mach 1. <laughs> As you know, we just are finishing up a 69 for a customer now, a Mach 1, we've been, that we've built over the last year. So this is a 70. So the story on this one is, we did the Marty report on it. This is a factory 70 Mach 1, 351, factory shaker hood scoop. This car was originally Raven Black with a flat black stripe and the louvers are factory ordered. Metal. Um, oh yeah, uh, you, can, you can tell because of the type of hinges. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's factory red interior. They call this red. It comes up pretty orange to me. It's pretty orange, but. Uh, but that's on the Marty too. It's a deluxe interior, so it has the, the hard, um, like the molded uh, uh, door panels yep. on the top. Now, keep in mind, we're showing you this. It's nowhere near, Finished. No, this, fact, is, this is still a like project. This is a project yeah, car. Yeah, and the, and the dashboard's hanging down. But yeah. look, it's got the right kind of gear shift in there. It's got right, the right number pedals. Right, right number pedals. Speed. Buckets. These are obviously new skins, right? Someone's put new skins on, but... Awesome. But this is, this is a project car. Yep. But what a good start for a project. Oh, the like body if this is, is where you're starting. The body is really nice. The shaker hood. Yeah, the body is really nice. Wow. And it's all there. Yep. It's all proper. That's awesome. So, now even here, everything's intact. Of course, when we restore it, we'll shake, be taking shake, everything, shake. everything out and. Yep. But. Yeah. What it's, a good place to start from, though. Holy oh, smoke. I know. This is a. To find a Mach One still. Yeah. With all of its. And with the options this car has, like on the Marty report, this thing is going to look. Absolutely incredible. Yep. And it's yeah, it's going to be a gorgeous car. So one of three things will happen with this car. One, we'll sell it the way it, you see it now. And whoever buys it can take it to do their own project. Uh, we can sell the car to a customer and we can build it for them, just like we did the last Mustang. Yep. Or the third option, which I like the best, is we can build it for us, take our time doing it, and then we can sell it when it's all done. Or if I like it enough, maybe in my personal collection. There you go. This is that kind of a car that I would consider for my own personal collection. Yeah, this is wildly cool. Yeah. So is it going to go back to black? If we, Absolutely. If you guys do this, it's going back to black. Going back to black. But with matte black Stripe. stripes like which this. Does, that's which, factory. Is what's, which is what's on it now. But yeah, but that's, that's, like that was what it was. The kind of ghost stripes, so to speak, right? We've got matte black on shiny black, which that's is what's cool super now. cool. That's what that's the in today. Yes, but that's factory back in '70, which, which makes it even more cool. 
because not very many people would have ordered that. In fact, mm -hmm. I'll bet you that when somebody went to order a black car with black stripes on they, it. They would have talked them out of it or something. Yeah. Well, or the factory would have phoned back to the dealership and said, are you sure that's what you want yeah. us to build? Like, like, like a white stripe on a white car. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, like, why would why anybody do that? Why would you do that? Why it looks it's gotta so be cool. A it, contrasting color. But now, to have those oh, matte on top of the shiny. It looks just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, look cool. I'll bet you that that was And with that interior, with yeah. the black <laughs> with exterior. With the red wow. interior. Yeah. It's just going to pop. And the louvers. Oh. And that they're still on there is crazy. I know. That somebody hasn't stolen them off or they haven't been damaged or ripped off. Even the spoilers on here, right? Yep. Wow. There's a factory front and back spoiler car too. Yes. That's up here as well. Yeah. Like the, the chin spoiler. These weren't all options. Like on the one that we just built, that's that's 69. Yep. The rear spoiler was that, that was not ticked off on the option list. Mm -hmm. our, our customer opted to put one on, which is fine. That, that was his wish to do that. But this is the factory one. So yeah. um, it's neat to see some of those well, options. Somebody ordered this thing really juicy. And these are the cool uh, twisty um, hood pin lock things. Yep, yep, thingers. yep. Yeah, not the... Like a mole part where you put the pin through, and this is and like the, the cable. Yeah. No, it's got it's got it's a thing yeah, that you just yeah. twist down and it holds the hood down. Yep. Quick release, but not quite. Wow, super cool, super yeah. cool. It looks great already, but wait till it's done. Oh yeah, I got to look down here. Look, Mach One right there. Okay, what are we going to be expecting coming up here soon? Well, I've been taking it easy on the on the buying right now, just because I'll, I'll be gone. So the guys have enough work here uh, to keep them busy for the next couple of weeks. But we still have another vet over there we haven't seen yet, a 94 vet. Our 55 Chevy, our uh, post car, mm -hmm. is just about done. They got the whole underneath all basically done now, all the suspension and everything. We got the new interior going in. It'll be a cool car. So that might be back here either the next video or the video after. So that'll be something new. Um, our 65 Falcon still isn't back here. Um, yeah, the convertible, right? So anyway, there's a couple new ones, but nothing for sure that's coming so i'll let the guys next week deal with it okay well have a good vacation thank you you'll be away a little while we'll have darby maybe and dallas alex. alex for sure maybe all three of them maybe all three we'll see who shows up not wayne though he's kind of camera shy <laughs> if you see something you like in these videos the way it is maybe you want a little different make sure you check out rodshotrods.ca all the pictures and pricing and details are there of course thank you for watching and like and subscribe we'll have these for you every week we'll catch you next time and Hot Rod Hangout.